All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel. Um, I got a link from someone who says, you want to know what's going on in Japan right now and how they're using heavy metal. And I'm like, okay, let's check it out. So they gave me this link to this group called Gimme Chocolate. Um, said, don't do any research on it. Just kind of check it out. Um, it's heavy metal, but it's mixed with pop. And it's like taking over Japan and it's supposed to be like crazy, crazy, crazy. So I'm like, okay, let's check it out, man. We like to do, we like to be adventurous. So let's, let's get into this. Give me chocolate, baby metal. Okay. I have no freaking clue. But anyway, let's, let's take a listen. Okay, give me chocolate, man. That was actually pretty damn good. I liked it, man. I hate to say that I liked it, but a good song is a good song. I don't know what their lyrics, I don't know what they were saying, but she did something with a little heart, you know, and I don't know if they're trying to be all 
cute. I, I don't know how they were doing maybe pop stuff with, but then they was out there throwing the devil sign out there in front of all the people, and they're talking about a mosh pit. I don't know, man. That's very, very, very creative. I actually liked it. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know what to think at first. I mean, you know how they had like horror rap. Maybe this is like, um, like horror horror core or whatever they call it. Um, maybe this is like horror pop. I don't know, man. It's a kind of a mixture genre kind of thing. But the heavy metal was badass. Those dudes was all dressed like in skeleton suits and stuff, man. That was pretty cool. I think that was Japan. I, I don't know what the words are, but I'm going to probably look them up. But cool stuff. Damn, that was awesome. Uh, so let me know what y'all think about that, man. I, I've never seen anything like that before, ever. So tell me if you think that's cool, weird, stupid. Uh, it looks like the crowd was ginormous. And they had a whole bunch of people out there. So that was like a stadium. So this this must be taking off like crazy. So I could see that, man. That's kind of cool. I said man again, didn't I? Dang. All right, y'all. I went ahead and looked up uh, the information on that gimme chocolate thing. And they do have an English version. And... They're asking for chocolate, man. Exactly what it is. Give me some chocolate, please. Um, I can't eat too much or I'm going to gain weight. You know, I'm worried. You know, one of the, I'm serious. That's what they were doing. But anyway, um, there is a girl that has a YouTube channel. Um, she's very cute. Um, and she did kind of like a parody on this. But these are the actual words. I actually like this video of her doing it um, just as good as I did. Um, the original time that I heard this, they have an English version where they're singing, uh, you know, asking for chocolate. But this girl did another parody. I'm just going to play that now and let y'all listen. I'm not going to react to it because it's cool. It's the same song, but it's different and it's got a different video. So y'all check this out. I'm just going to give that to y'all just to check out, just to see it a little bit different. But it is cool. It is very cool. All right, here you go. Check this out.
I'm going to give you a little state of the union address on what's going on here with the channel and all that other stuff. Um, I, I do this stuff kind of on the slide um, at my at my job. Um, and I do it at like lunchtime or I'll do it after hours because I got a key to get in. Not a big deal. Um, but anyway, I got called into my boss's office the other day. And he's like, hey, uh, word is around the office that you're having some success on YouTube doing this. And I checked out some of your videos. You're kind of a funny, stupid guy. And I'm like, okay, it's like you didn't already know that. So why are you trying to come to me like that, right? So he's like, hey, I don't know if you know this dummy. And dummy in a good way, right? He's like, but we buy houses all over the United States. Why don't you talk to your peoples and say, look, if they know of any vacant properties to tell us. And I'm like, well, why would they want to do that and waste their time? He goes, I'll tell you what, I'll make it even better for them. If they know of any vacant houses, where they're at, if they have a family member that wants to get rid of a house, somebody dies, they're in another state, they don't want to jack with it, whatever the case may be, we don't care. Old rental properties, distressed houses, uh, anything like that can give us the address of the house if they know the owner can get us contact information if they know the story on the house like it's a neighbor's house uh vacant if somebody died in their family they don't want to deal with it whatever the case is we don't care man a house is a house if the numbers work we'll buy it and we buy stuff man all over the country if we buy that house we'll give them 500 dollars just for giving us that info that's it i'm like damn for real and he's like yeah so that's the deal, y'all. Um, I'm going to give you my email address real quick, which is also on the About page. So if y'all know of any houses or y'all have family members that have houses or hell, if you've got houses, you can deal with me, man. We'll hook it up, man. All right. So let's get on to this fun stuff. Then we can get we can do some business and some fun at the same time. So there you go, y'all. I appreciate it. On to the video. Here we go. What are we going to do? Here we go. <laughs>